You know, some things I hear people testifying, I just charge it to the fact that maybe their memory ain't working right. Glory. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone. All right. We're going to turn your attention. Sure. Y'all pray for me. Even 
thinking and I'm thinking it might not work. Lord, give me grace to obey you. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Many things the Lord tells us to do. We look at it and say, oh, that ain't going to work. That's too much effort to put into that. We don't already wash the nets up, clean them up, lay them out to dry. Because if we don't take care of the nets, it's going to cost too much to try to replace them because they're rot. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, some of y'all don't understand that kind of stuff. But I don't know a little bit about it. I married a man who was a commercial painter. Amen. Hallelujah. I know about cleaning up paintbrushes, cleaning up rolls, cleaning out mine. Amen. And I have got on the phone at 5 o'clock in the evening and called somebody down in Santa Fe, almost to LA, because I need to go buy a car for a hero. Get in my car and drive down there $170 for a little bitty pause to make that pump work. Down there. Hallelujah. So I know what it was like. You done taken care of Now you done cleaned up all that stuff, wrapped up all them lines, put them on, and somebody said, but you go paint this. Right, right. I've been working all night. I'm tired. But nevertheless, as I worked, I will lift down the net for a drop. Yes. Hallelujah. And no doubt people was thinking, ain't nothing out there. The fish is at the bottom of the lake now. But Jesus said, do it, I'm going to do it. Yeah. And when he let down the net, amen, hallelujah, the net brought so much to start to break. Then he called the James and John, come on over here and help. And they done fill up both boats with fish. So much so that the boats begin to sink. Yeah. Hallelujah. Think about that. And when they get them back to land, and first of all, Peter said, guard for me, because I'm a sinful man out there. Right, but right. You understand something. When you realize where you are, come on now. He wasn't going nowhere. He wasn't going nowhere. We need to come to ourselves to realize that we are sinful. Realize what condition we're in. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Right. Lord, help us. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Instead of us sitting around trying to determine what's wrong with Brother Come on now. And Brother Come Martin on now. And Come on now. Martin and that sister over there and that brother back there, we need to be trying to figure out what's wrong with us. I 
look better. I have one pot like kept my mouth shut. You <laughs> that I got to say to you. When you come on the crazy statement. So the man who gave me the card and said I can heal you. I couldn't wait to put my Bible and my purse down so I could get back in his face. I said, you can do what? What's that you say you can do? He told me, come girl, leave me alone. Ain't you nobody. If you are the instrument that God uses to heal somebody, it's not you. That's right. That's right. It's not you. It's God. That's right. The glory belongs to God. That's right. Amen. And when you get so big at it, you just go and bash you and use somebody else. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord. Yes. I thank the Lord. Nevertheless, word. I will let down oh, Hallelujah. Lord, whatever you tell me to do, help me make me ready, willing and able to do it. Hallelujah. So when I come to take communion, amen, I can do it with good free conscience. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you see somebody, don't take communion. Don't you start speculating about why they don't take communion. Because they might be in better shape than you. Because yes. you might not be honest enough to say, I need to sit down. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. But we need to be ready to take communion every day of our lives. That's right. Because Jesus ain't going to wait till the next fifth Sunday to call me. <laughs> you hear all the people no. going now? Just don't know. Come on, you might now. Wait. Come on now. Come on now. You just don't know. Hallelujah. So we need to be ready, saints. Amen. We need to be ready when he's called for us. Yes. We need to be done to clean our sleep. Glory, glory, glory. It's a thing, amen. And sometimes I hear people testifying, people talking, and I get to praying for me. Glory, glory, glory. Lord Jesus, help me to get there. This person comes. I understand now. You know, we all talk that junk about uh, I'm not judging, I'm just prudent, respect, God, you tell you to respect prudent. Glory, glory, glory. He said, Judge not that you be not judged. Amen. Amen. That's it. And sometimes you have to be in hopeless a long time to understand yeah. some of the things yeah. that God means. When he said these things. But when you start looking back and you see people have issues. We all do. Yeah. Maybe that issues are not what yours is. And you think yours is so good that don't nobody know about it. You don't fool yourself. Yeah. Maybe not a lot of people know, but God shows somebody. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Amen. So since that be true, stop saying, oh, they got to. It, it's just like I was telling them in the Sunday school this morning. When we was talking about the president. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But anyway, we was talking about these uh, evangelistic Christians and how that they are all for the man. But let me tell you something. Homosexuality is not the only sin. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Abortion is not the only Amen. sin. Amen. Amen. Adultery is not the only Amen. sin. Amen. The Bible even tells you a liar ain't going to be an end. Amen. Amen. So think about it. Think about it. Well, if I'm stepping on somebody's feet, not my intention, I just intend to tell you the truth. That's all. Amen. Yeah. But y'all pray for me that the Lord will have his way in my life. Oh, oh, amen. But I want to be ready, son. I want to be ready. Mm -hmm. I want to hear the Lord say, well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. Amen. And I will come to the part where we're getting ready to take communion. Amen. And we don't have to preach the scripture every time. We just read. Amen. amen. But we want you to be ready. Amen. Uh, I'm going to read this now. It comes from the, 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 the
11th chapter of First Corinthians. And Mother Walker, I guess Mother Bam never Somebody's going to get us ready for community. Amen. And Mama Eva, I want to say this to you, baby. It'd be colder back there by that back door, I think. <laughs> she said, no. Amen. One of these days, she's going to surprise me. I'm going to come in and she's going to sit up on the front, and I'll probably fall on the floor. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Like her little grandson did to me. I saw him one time, I said, if you ever ask for oatmeal instead of noodle, I'll probably fall out. I went the next morning, I said, I'm ready. What do you want for breakfast? Some old meal, I said, you just start making up a pie. <laughs> Every morning, he was asking for do She heard me say that. I said, if you ask for oatmeal, it's to the news. I promise, come on out. Right on what you want. Oatmeal. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I love my baby. Amen. Hallelujah. Love all my little babies. And my little granddaughter, Tyler, she come for Christmas. But Tyler wants you to know. I'm bringing you a gift, but you understand this. I didn't get the money from my mom or my dad. This is my money. I work and made this money to buy you a gift. She's going to let you know. But she is, she's always selling stuff, cooking cakes, selling t-shirts, socks. I said, she might be a multi-millionaire before she gets too much old. You never know. Amen. All right. All right. But y'all pray. Amen. God will help you. Pray for Vernon. He said that. His desire, he don't know what he want to do now, but he has had a good run uh, with the coaching, but it seems that they're trying to give him more work to do with less pay. And I can understand that he feel like he might be trying to move on in life. So pray for him that God will lead him, whatever he do, amen. Lord, Lord, Lord. And so glad to see him. John and Jamaica this morning, and I want to say to y'all, I told them on last Sunday, we are going to have a little watch meeting, as they call it, here at the church, because my babies get up and come to church and bring their babies to church with them, and they ain't going to be going way across town to somewhere else, but they will come to the church of Lord Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen, hallelujah. And I just like to be at home anyway for the beginning of the year. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Reading from 1 Corinthians 11, 17. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not, that you come together not for the better, but for the worse. And first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions upon you, and I call you to leave. But there must be also pierces among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest in the mind. When you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, everyone taketh before others his own supper. One is hungry, and another is drunk. What? Have you not houses to eat and to drink in, and despise thee the church of God? and shame them that have not. What shall I say unto you? Shall I praise you for this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, to bring. And when he had given thanks, he break it and say, Take eat. this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Yes. Now we want to understand that this particular scripture is written by the Apostle Paul. Paul was not there. Peter, James, John, and the rest of the apostles were there, but Paul was not there. So he said, For I received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had sucked, saying, this cup is a New Testament in my blood. Yes, this do be as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. Yes. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, 
he do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. And this is we talk about the sleep of death. Right. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brother, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that he come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. He's letting them know there's some more problems in the church. Yeah. But they're not as serious as this. I'm writing to you about this. The rest of it, when I get that, I set that in order. Right. But I want you to know right now. Right. Amen. And it's not for us to say who should and who should take of the Lord's side. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Even the sister came to baptize the children. And she was saying, well, they are too young to baptize. I don't want to baptize them. So she came and asked me and I said, uh oh, baby. I said, if they want to be baptized, let them be baptized. Maybe they're not old as they But they can always be baptized again when they get older. Right. When you feel like they understand. But you don't know what a child understands. Right. My mother, Gertrude Coleman, had a sister, and most of them never hear anybody say anything about her. Her name was Esther. Amen. Hallelujah. And my grandmother told me that she wanted to be baptized. She was eight years old. And they told her, like they do in the Baptist church, when you get 12 years old, we will baptize you because that's when your sins are on your head. That's what they told her. Amen. I know I was in the Baptist church. I know it's told her. Amen. Hallelujah. But Mama said, Irma was so. Her name is Arms. <laughs> she was so determined to be baptized that there was a pond down in front of the house. She said, Irma went down to the pond, got in the pond, and baptized herself. <laughs> and not long after that, she passed away with what they say she had taken. Amen. Hallelujah. So I said, don't stop the children from being right. baptized if they want to be baptized. Mm. If they want to be baptized, let them be baptized. Man. You can always redo it, amen. You get married after 25, sometimes after 10 years, you decide, I want to have another right. ceremony, right. amen. Right. I want to redo my vows, right. amen. So when you get older, you can redo it. And Mother Green was determined to get her children baptized. And she, uh, the boy came down from Idaho. Down. 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 And his little girl, she had her baptized. And that child was having some kind of seizure. I don't know what she had. The mother Green said, that was the end of that. But the Bible says, so we believe be it unto That's right. Amen. Whatever you got faith to believe, God is able to do Amen. So we thank you. So let us all gather around now. It's time for communion. We want to show forth the death and suffering until he comes again. Amen. Thank you, Lord.
For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord cheated the same night in which he was betrayed to a grave. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you to bless this community, God, because we not forget that you died for us, God. And God, we ask you right now, each and every one of us, God, my voice, God, God, even as we take this community, you know what they need and what they desire right now, God. God, we ask you to bless them right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, we ask you right now, God, if they need healing, God, heal right now, God. Deliver us, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want y'all to know, this is not a washing your hands because they're dirty, but it is a ceremonial washing. It's just like the uh, Pharisees told Jesus that his disciples ate with unwashed hands. It didn't mean their hand wasn't clean, but they didn't do that ceremonial wash. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they all will have to please. Tell me who shall stand before us when we fall.
often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Everybody, nobody just lighted, everybody ready? Let's all commune together in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.